Hi everyone, I hope you've all had a marvellous week. Um, sorry this week's recipe is a little bit late, but I'm here doing one. And um, my recipe this week is my baba ganoush, because I'm having a bit of a, like an aubergine craving right now. So I literally have bought loads of aubergines and I'm just gonna be aubergines for a week. <laughs> uh, but this dip would be fantastic for a dinner party or just something healthy to have in the fridge other than hummus um, that you can just nibble on with some either crudités or pita breads. So yeah, it's very easy and I wanted to show you. Right. We're going to slice the aubergine into like centimetre thick rounds. Now I'm going to lay the aubergine flat on my board, sprinkle with some salt. It's quite a decent amount. I'm gonna leave these for about 10 minutes and what you'll see is water will begin to come out of them and we're gonna get rid of that. So as you can see, we've got this water on these and we're just gonna pat dry the aubergines. Next step, place them on a baking tray, drizzle with some olive oil. And another sprinkle of salt, not too much. And I'll put some pepper on as well. Salt and pepper. And I'm just going to place them under the hot grill. I'll put my grill on. Probably for about, probably for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to turn them once halfway through. See, they've turned nice and golden. So I'm just going to do the other side. Once you've taken them out of the grill, I leave them to cool down and I, I normally just throw like tea cloth over them just to kind of keep in that moisture really or you could use tin foil, something like that. So now we'll just leave them to cool. Once it's cooled down, you can just basically peel off the skin. Okay, we're not going to use the skin. It doesn't matter if you've got a bit in there, that's fine. Just get most of it off. Yeah. Now we're going to pop everything into a blender. So whatever kind of blender you've got, we need to whiz this up. So all the flesh of the aubergine going in, one clove of garlic, one tablespoon of tahini paste, going in, oh, it's going to up, and I have some freshly squeezed lemon juice, so again, I'm going to put two tablespoons in, two, spoon out into a bowl, and I actually like to finish with a sprinkle of some coriander or some cilantro. I hope you all enjoy making yourself some lovely baba ganoush. And leave me your comments. Love hearing from you guys. This was just a very plain, simple version. Mm. I'm going to taste. I just can't get enough of aubergine. Mmm. Really good. I hope you enjoy this. Um, if you haven't hit subscribe, hit subscribe because I do new recipes every single week. And on that note, I bid you all farewell. Have a lovely week. Stay safe. Be healthy. Cook yourself some lovely food. Mwah.